Good morning, kids. It's day three of VBS, and we're having a great week, I hope. Today, we're looking at the story of Jesus talking with Peter, and he keeps saying, Peter, do you love me? Yes, you love me. Do you love me? Yes, I love you. And so, and then he says, feed my sheep. And when we look at Jesus, Jesus loves everybody. And God the Father is love. God is love. So God absolutely loves everybody. And so we are also called to love everybody. Just like Jesus. Jesus loved the sinners, the tax collectors, the blind, the children, even his enemies. He prayed for them. He forgave them. And so we are called to a big task of loving others. Some people are easy to love. Our mom and dad, our best friends, our teachers maybe. Uh, those people are easy to love. But some people are difficult. Maybe the ones that bully you or that make you feel uncomfortable. Maybe you see some people that live on the streets that are really dirty and haven't bathed in some time. Or some people have disabilities that make us uncomfortable and we don't know how to love them. But we're called to love everybody and to treat everybody with respect and care. And so I want to tell you a little bit about my friend, Akol. He lives in Soroti, and he's been on the streets for decades, like maybe 30, 40 years. Even Moses says he remembers when he was a little boy, this, this man was living on the street. And he has a, an injury on his leg, so every day is an open wound, and he keeps it covered, but he often smells. And sometimes he's mean and he's carrying rocks and he looks like he's going to throw it at people. But I come every day and I greet him and I'm like, hi, Echo, how are you? And he puts the rock down, he smiles, he opens my car door because I show him respect and love. And I've taught my neighbor kids to also love him. And so he gives them big hugs. Some of you want to go and wash our hands afterwards because he's really dirty. But he deserves to be loved just like everybody else. And so we do that. There's also the street kids. They also haven't bathed in a long time. They live on the streets. They sleep under the verandas, in the storefronts. And sometimes they're hard to love because they're thieves. They steal things in order to get money to buy food. And they smell like airline fuel. They're addicted to sniffing glue. So some of them aren't nice when they talk to you. But they're honestly just kids who need love as well. And they need food. And so sometimes I go and I buy them a flatbread or I buy them a small cake or a juice in the supermarket and they just light up with joy like somebody loves me, somebody cares. We need to love all people. We need to love prisoners. We need to love people who make us uncomfortable. We need to love people who are mean to us because that's what Jesus would do. Jesus loved everyone. And so we need to love everyone. And love sometimes means just giving a wave or a handshake. Sometimes love means sharing a meal. Sometimes love means visiting somebody who's lonely or doing some work for a lady or a gentleman who are shut in, like they're very old, but they're still living at home. Maybe you can go and do their dishes or cut their lawn. That's a way to love others as well. There's so many ways to love. But it all starts in our heart. First of all, we need to know that God loves us. He is with us. He loves us so much. He loves us so much. He sent Jesus to die for all of our sins. And he has forgiven us. And I praise God for that. And I hope you know God's love as well. And when you know God's love, you can share God's love. You can share it with the rich and the poor. The lame, the ugly, the pretty the athlete, the young, the old, the popular, the outcast, the bully, the mean one. We are called to love everyone. It's a hard challenge, my friends, but I know we can do it because God loves us. And so today I'm going to share our memory verse. Let us keep looking to Jesus. He is the one who started the journey of faith and he is the one who completes the journey of faith. Hebrews 12, verse 2a. So keep walking on this journey of faith. And today, remember, we need to love who Jesus loves. Well, we're halfway through the VBS week. I hope you're having a great time. I really wish I was there with you. 
but I have lots of kids to be with here in Uganda. Have a wonderful day. God bless you.